Okay, guys, this is the second part of that my my you know you know um, code first design in ASP.NET MVC five with Entity Framework um, little tutorial. Let's you know we issued the last command to update the database with the Borbos command unit. Let's now check the database. You know I'm going to go ahead and refresh my databases, and it should have created a new new database called Project Bog Management, as you can see right here and it should have created a bunch of tables this it automatically created this DVO migration history because you need to keep tracks of which property changed and this is for I think it basically is through the has function of the changes in here beside that you know of course these are the table our main table was uh, issue table you know issue object and corresponding to that it basically created ID big integer because the we said it's a long data type and all the enumeration are basically integer not null which are okay that's how I want it issue category but I don't like this one issue description basically I don't like to uh, allow a user to you know type unlimited text and bar or max that's huge I would prefer this to have this data Mm, this column to be uh, not nullable, maybe 500 and bar chart. We're going to change that one next, okay? And create a date, which is okay, date time. And this is a user, the foreign key uh, created by user. This is a fixed version, and which version it was fixed. Issue reported environment and the project ID, which project this issue is to. And the same thing right here, project title, project description as an end bar. So we, we don't like this one, we will change it, all of them. And then of course, uh, the user too, see it's by default, it uses end bar to our max. You know, we don't like that much uh, memory allocation for this name. Okay, we'll change all of those. That's the next thing we will do. Okay, let's go ahead into, uh, let's go start changing issue description. To, to do that, uh, what do we have to do here? Let me go ahead and close all but this. Oh, well, I don't even need this one. Let's go into issue property here, we'll issue class here. And like I told you, you know, I don't like this issue description. The first thing I have to make this one as a required. Okay, this I want to set the required annotation right here so this becomes not nullable column. Just to see this is the true because it, right now is this is a nullable column and let's go ahead and you know um, let's go ahead and clear all the all of those and we'll say aid migration aid migration to uh, only thing it had changed my this issue description right that's the only thing it had changed so I'm going to say for this of course, you know, we're going to create a new class, migration class, and I'm going to go ahead and update the database. And I can also say Barbo so that I can see the alter statement, SQL alter statement here. And it modify it has stable, as usual. Okay. You can see, you know, basically uh, the changes that it applied. See? It issued the alter table, alter column, issue description, and bar chart. It just set it to not null. And we can, you know, verify that from here also. Uh, refresh this guy. It's not null now. Okay. Next thing I'm going to make sure uh, it's this is, has to be bar chart, not non bar chart. So uh, let's go it into the issue table again. We're going to set another property. I'm going to say a max length property and give the max length of 500. Okay, this is the change again, and we'll do uh, migration again. Let's go ahead and clear this one. Previous changes, oh, update database now. Yeah, this is all good. Now, oh, update the database. Okay, pretty cool. You know, we can see how oh, the changes right now. Instead of max, now it's still an bar char, but it should be 500 characters now, which is good. And next thing we're going to do, um, we're going to still go into our issue table. I'm going to make sure the data type is uh, bar char rather than n bar char. So we're going to say uh, column. 
and it has some column type. It has these Let's look at some of the overload that this guy has. I can pass name parameter. The name name parameter is a type name. So I'm going to say type name. What is the type name I want? I want bar char. Okay, this is the last change I want to make in here. Okay, since again our you know our model has changed, let's do the same thing again. Okay. And let's look at the changes. Okay. Great this let's look at this guy. Refresh this one. Pretty cool. This is how I want it. Let's say this issue description bar chart is five hundred nullable not nullable column. In all the other column I'm happy with it. Okay? Let's make a similar kind of changes to, to um user table you know I don't want uh, let's say for first name 50 last name maybe not last name middle name is nullable is okay but I want the first name and the last name and email address all this gonna be, I'm gonna make it required and it can be a bar char maybe a 50 all of them are 50 characters okay making those changes shouldn't be that bad now we all we already know all the property that we need basically let me copy this these three properties for out of out of this, and let's go into user table. Okay, first name, the middle name, this attribute for last name, and then of course this is for uh, email address. Of course, you know 500 character for email address is too much. It's too required, and I can see I want it to be bar star also. And the last name may be 50 character, no more than that. And it's too required. And of course, this middle name is some people have middle names, some people don't have it. So I'm going to say 50 character. I want it to be bar char also with max link 50. And the first name 50 required. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, you know, before what I use is like individual column, individual property change, but in this case, bunch of property change in the user. So when I issue the command, I'm going to say um, clear, I'm going to say, all right, um, aid migration to a user up, to, to a user object, because bunch of property on that object had changed, and Once that is all done, let's go ahead and issue the update database. With the, let's use the bubbles command too. Yeah, as you can see, issue three, you know, alter a statement, well, four alter a statement right here. So basically, alter the table, call user, alter column, the first name, barchar, 15, not null, middle name, barchar, 15, null, and then last name, not null, and then email address, 100 character, not null. And then, of course, it did insert this new has into this migration table. Okay, that is all good. That is, that is nice. Now we can make a similar kind of changes to our uh, other table. Here is your comments. Basically, um, the same idea. Of course, this, um, you can uh, enter up to 500 characters required in Bajar. So. Um, I think my you know, that guy got my package manager console got closed, so clear this eight migration to uh, comment text, or you can even say uh, issue comment it should work either way. <coughs> 